following is a presentation of TFNN, living a primal lifestyle. Now, your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Hey, welcome to the pro program, folks. folks. It's Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle, and Paige is on assignment right now. Actually, she's got a uh, little eye infection, so she just didn't want to be seen today. I don't blame her. But we've got a great show lined up for us. And uh, I remind you that uh, pick up my Health Signals newsletter, and uh, it's out there on, in the webosphere right now. So if you're subscribed, you're getting the latest uh, uh, issue. And a lot of information that you need to know to stay healthy, wealthy, and wise so you can keep on trading. And our number here is 877-927-6648. Got a great guest for you. Her name is Polly Halstead. Now, Polly has many years of experience with fine California wine, uh, country cuisine, and organic whole natural foods. With Her first uh, uh, cookbook was actually called Cuisine for Whole Health, Recipes for a Sustainable Life. And her current book is Primal Cuisine, Cooking for the Paleo Diet. And she educates us on the topics of GMOs, uh, gluten and casein intolerance, and how our food choices impact the environment. It's more than just a uh, cookbook, folks. It, uh, primal Cuisine also explains the dietary theory behind the primal lifestyle. And her advice is to eliminate unhealthy carbohydrates and optimize optimize protein and healthy fats and demonstrates how the food of our ancestors such as wild caught uh, fish grass fed meats and organic vegetables nuts seeds and berries are still the best choice when it comes to improving your physical and mental health so welcome to the program Polly how are you doing today Oh, I'm doing very well. Thank you, and thank you for the great introduction. Well, I'll tell you, you know, when I uh, started reading this book, it reminded me right away, of course, because of the foreword by Nora Gagalis, uh, re reminded me all the reasons why I started on the paleo diet, or the, what I call the primal diet, many years ago. And it looks like we probably started about the same time. Is You started about 2009, something like that? Uh, yeah, actually, I was living about an hour away from uh, Nora in uh -huh. Hood River, Oregon, and uh, I had just started to write my book, uh, my first cookbook, when somebody handed me her book, uh -huh. um, and uh, wow, so instantly I had to go see her, <laughs> <laughs> and I became her client. Oh, really? She helped me get over so many of... Uh, really long-term uh, problems uh, like depression, which apparently she had suffered from as well. Yeah. My mother was schizophrenic, and I inherited a vitamin B6 and zinc deficiency. Uh -huh. um, so uh, Nora helped me correct that, and my hypoglycemia, and many other things. It was, it was a great start. Well, that's for sure. You know, one thing I really like about your book is uh, that uh, you start out, of course, with a great forward from Nora, but then you go into uh, why uh, why the primal diet, why the paleo diet, and uh, it just goes on and on from there and ends up with all these wonderful, wonderful recipes that are, uh, I mean, the pictures and the illustrations are just fantastic in it. I was really impressed with the illustrations. Oh, thank you. Well, I took all those photographs myself. Did you really? the one of me and uh, one cow. <laughs> wow. So, you know, how did you come up with all these recipes? Well, you know, I had uh, I had been uh, a, a chef for over 35 years. I started my first restaurant in San Francisco in 1975, uh -huh. and then in 1980 I moved to the Napa Valley, which was sort of has become the ground zero of culinary. Uh, no doubt about it. <laughs> and wine. Uh, knowledge in the United States, uh, not the only one, L.A., San right. Francisco, um, New York, every place. Yeah. But uh, I certainly learned a lot there, worked with a lot of great people, and learned a lot of great recipes, which yeah. then I decided to convert to uh, the, the paleo um, kind of recipe, removing the bad stuff and keeping in the innovative good stuff. Yeah, I, uh, your website, by the way, folks, is theprimalcuisine.com, and uh, it really uh, does illustrate, uh, you know, all the good things about the paleo diet. So what's the first thing that you remember when you began uh, eating this way? What changed for you first? 
Okay, my, my first big hurdle, because I, I have been severely hypoglycemic all my life. Yeah. Uh, I called it uh, low blood sugar. But at any rate, uh, yeah, with all the accompanying uh, sort of feeling ill, just nervous, sweat, uh, depressed, all of that. So that was the first thing that uh, Nora tackled. She she got me off uh, sugars, and I I believe uh, that along with, with that, see, most of my sugars came in a um, in a wheat vi- wheat vehicle. Okay. <laughs> so baking. So I believe things. that my three months of uh, uncomfortable withdrawal was not only from sugar; it was from glu- uh, gluten. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, and I really wasn't convinced totally that gluten was an issue, but as I have gone along and, with this diet and gotten tested, testing that Nora recommends, I've realized I have also been gluten intolerant my whole life, and I believe it runs in my family. Now, did you get tested previously for uh, gluten intolerance the conventional way? Uh, no, because I was in denial. I see. I see. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are. Totally. Yeah, it, I, it, so. I thought it was everybody else, and I was writing uh, this cookbook for everybody else. And yeah. then, you know, even though I had really uh, begun to avoid gluten and keep it as low as possible, and Nora really recommends that you be 100% gluten-free. Yeah. And what she points out in her book, and I did mention it in my book, too, there's full-blown celiac disease, and then there's gluten intolerance, of which I really believe everyone in the United States is in that range of gluten intolerance. Yeah, and especially with the way they pro- they're processing the, uh, the wheats and uh, all, all the grains these days are so much different than traditional uh, uh, ways before that. Before the, yeah, well, they're genetically modified, so the genetically modified wheat is much more potent when it comes to gluten. Yeah. Now, what are some of the withdrawals that, uh, that, you know, when I started the paleo diet, I mean, I was convinced within a couple of days, and I never really had that withdrawal, and I, I know a lot of people do. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, what are some of those things that uh, you, you noticed first? Well, uh, I believe it's just like a withdrawal from any other kind of drug. A lot of people have said um, sugar is as, is as addictive as heroin, but also uh, gluten contains gluteomorphins, which are also very addictive. And so I was experiencing a craving. Uh, yeah. You know, we all know what craving feels like and how uncomfortable it is and, and how obsessive uh, <laughs> that makes you feel like you really want the thing uh, that you're craving. Yeah. Uh, so your neurotransmitters, uh, and it takes a while, uh, need to get re- retrained. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Polly, I have a caller on the line, Donna, from uh, Daytona Beach, and uh, she wants to talk about fibromyalgia. So uh, let's uh, see what her question is all about. Hi, Donna. How you doing? You're on the line with Nico and uh, with Polly. Oh, she dropped off. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope she calls Uh-oh. back. Okay, well, maybe she'll come back on. Yeah. Uh, any uh, information that you could uh, uh, enlighten us on uh, fibromyalgia as far as the paleo and primal diet? Uh, well, I'm not exactly a nutritionist mm-hmm. or a doctor. I think it would be good to go to uh, a nutritionist that practices uh, the more primal uh, uh, diet. And also now you can go on the... Uh, Paleo doctors website, a paleo physicians website. There's yes. a bunch of paleo physicians now in the United States. There so, sure are, and they're they're yeah, being added I think more testing, and more. Testing, testing uh, will help. And yeah. that Cyrex lab that Nora mentions in her book, and I mentioned it in mine too. Apparently, there are 24 other foods uh, that your body mistakes for gluten. So even oh. if you go off gluten or dairy casein, sometimes you're still having symptoms. Yeah. Uh, so it's important to get uh, tested for those cross uh, foods. And I found that I was most allergic to egg. Oh, really? <laughs> and then Nora my... has that same problem too, doesn't she? Yeah. So yeah. I, I recommend getting uh, tested and finding uh, a, a good person to work with. Yeah. 
That's a good advice. I know fibromyalgia is a uh, one of those things that uh, compromises your immune system. So, and I know what the immune system uh, is gets really elevated with the primal diet. I mean, it's done wonders for me. Yeah, definitely. I I feel like my um, my immune system has improved. I don't plan on getting the flu, <laughs> 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 and haven't had it for for ever since. Uh, I started eating this way. I have not been sick, not yeah. one day. I had one little bout with the flu since I started, and that uh, I was during. A, I do jujitsu, so I uh, was in this competition down in Miami, and I really, uh, on the way down, didn't have a chance to eat. So uh, before the competition, I didn't eat. So afterwards, I was kind of. I think I just compromised myself, and I did get a mild case of the flu, which left me in a few days. So, but I've noticed that uh, I just know my allergies are gone pretty much, uh, and, and it just makes life so much easier. It's amazing how everything uh, clears up, and actually um, my depression really cleared up. I had been depressed off and on my entire life. It yeah. really puts a damper on your life, and I would say that is the number one <laughs> good news uh, for me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I understand that too, and I know it, to, in today's life, it just seems like there's so many stresses on us. Uh, you know, just from, uh, of course, heavy workloads, from family life, from the news that we hear, from uh, over exercising, for people exercising way too much, or uh, people not exercising enough, and uh, these stressors uh, really do compromise our uh, healthy lifestyle. Yeah, definitely, and uh, I, I feel like eating a nutrient-dense uh, diet with uh, the really good accompanying fat really helps reduce stress. I think the good nutritious fats really help with that. I think they do, too, and uh, I think that was what really brought me to, uh, from Nora's book, is that the fat content, when I first started the uh, this way of eating, I didn't really elevate my fats as much. And when I read her book, it kind of clicked with me. And now I make sure that f over 50% of my uh, nutrients really come from healthy fats. Yeah, me too. And uh, it, it's so amazing. Uh, we've had such a fear of fat. And uh, when I first uh, met Nora, I was living kind of in an ashram-like setting with a, a lot of vegetarians. So, uh, <laughs> naturally, wow. we were a lot of brown rice eaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I went <laughs> and through I that gained, myself. I had gained quite a lot of weight, and I was not feeling r really that great. So, I, I switched over to eating more meat and more fat, and guess what? I was eating more calories, and I lost about 10 to 15 pounds within three months. Yeah, it is amazing. Uh, we're coming up yeah. on a break here, so uh, we're going to take a couple minutes break. Uh, I'd like to remind the folks that our number here is 877-927-6648. And folks, please pick up my Health Signals newsletter, and I've got issue two here. Next week we have a brand new one, and I will, in the issue, uh, put all the information from uh, Polly Halstead's uh, website and the book in there, so you have that information too. So we'll be right back, folks, with Polly. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar, bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN is proud to partner with Great Panther Silver for another exciting silver coin giveaway. The Great Panther Silver Super Silver Giveaway begins the week of January 28th and will be choosing 47 lucky winners. It's free to enter with absolutely no strings attached. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com today to fill out your entry form. Every hour that we're on the air, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. the week of January 28th, we'll be randomly choosing one lucky winner that will win a silver coin or bar from Great Panther Silver and TFNN. And the final hour of the week, Friday, February 1st, we'll choose three lucky winners. That's 47 winners in just one week with over $1,000 in silver given away to our loyal listeners. Register today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. And for more information on Great Panther Silver, you can click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex symbol GPL or on the Toronto Stock Exchange symbol GPR. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The number here is 877-927-6648. And on the line, I have Holly Halstead, who wrote this fantastic book called Primal Cuisine, Cooking for the Paleo Diet. And, you know, one of the things I like about this is you're going through explaining uh, why the paleo diet is important, not only for healthy eating, but also uh, to sustain a healthy earth. Uh, and then you go into... Uh, the things about gluten. And the second thing in here is the casein. Uh, uh, the, you call this, this the milk devil. Uh, so explain uh, to our listeners why this is a, a problem for a lot of people. Uh, well, apparently uh, uh, somewhere several thousand years ago, I'm not sure how, how many, um, there had been uh, one strain of, of cow, and somewhere along the line it genetically Lit off, so the uh, protein casein in the cow was uh, uh, different, uh -huh. and this particular casein is very hard to digest. Um, now, uh, our first cows got shipped over here, I think, in the 1700s uh, from Holland, and apparently, uh, we we got the uh, the sort of bum casein <laughs> version yeah. of the cow. Therefore, we're having a lot of uh, uh, trouble with our with our dairy. Yeah, and uh, then uh, you go to the next part uh, where we're talking about the truth about the, the raw milk and processed milk and what the difference is, and uh, of course the uh, growth hormones that are in the milk uh, that cause all kinds of problems, and of course the antibiotics that the uh, 
uh, is not only in milk, but many, many uh, of the, the foods that we are trying to eliminate. Yeah, antibiotics in our food supply is a, is a huge problem, and um, that's one of the reasons I believe people are having so much problem, uh, many problems with their gut and immune system. Yeah. It's that, um, you know, the bad bacteria have now taken a precedence. Yeah. And in order to heal ourselves, we, we're going to have to heal our, our, uh, our gut. And that book, Gut and Psychology Syn- uh, Syndrome, by Natasha Campbell McBride was a great book to read because uh, she gives a protocol for helping uh, to heal the gut, which I think is really important. Yeah, and I was always uh, diagnosed with what uh, my parents called the nervous nervous stomach. It always seemed like uh, during high stress times, then I would get an upset stomach, and it, it was with me through most of my life. Uh, lesser as I got older, but I still had it. And then when I went on the uh, primal type diet. Uh, all that went away. Yeah, I think that's true. I think I had a lot of stomach issues as well, and I do know uh, that in the 90s I was diagnosed with uh, leaky gut. Okay. And I did have an autoimmune disorder, Epstein-Barr virus, mm-hmm. uh, so, which a lot of people do have that, uh, you know, potential for that virus to take, to take over. Yeah, yeah. And then the next part, you're talking about cumulative carbohydrate consumption. Explain what you mean by that. Well, uh, that was me. I'd get up in the morning, I'd have a piece of toast with some jam or a scone, and then, you know, I'd be off and running, and about 11 o'clock I was looking around for another scone or or something sweet, and um, then I would have a sandwich at lunch. Yeah. uh, you know, as some kind of a treat in the afternoon, and then mashed potatoes for dinner. So <laughs> it's like all day long it was carb, carb, carb. And yeah. I do believe that is our problem in the United States. Yeah. We're, we're carbaholics. Yeah, we certainly are, and uh, I, I certainly was uh, off of that, too. Uh, what happened to me was, of course, I had switched to cereal uh, way back when, in the morning, and... Uh, I really wasn't a milk drinker, so I used alternatives uh, to milk. I I really didn't find uh, coconut milk until later on, but uh, I've always uh, had problems. And that was, I I really do consider that the cereals are the worst thing you can eat, especially with the low-fat milk uh, and, you know, the conventional milks. (laughs) Totally. I mean, when I was living up in Oregon, you know, uh, yeah, big cereal like granola, right? And it didn't matter uh, that it had soy milk or almond milk <laughs> on it right. because they thought that was healthier. <laughs> right, I thought, I thought the, the same thing. Yeah, I thought the almond milk was the answer for me, but uh, now I know <laughs> that uh, use that sparingly, that's for sure. So, yep. you know, the solution really is to just drop all those things, uh, and that's what happened for me. And uh, when you do, then uh, you don't really, I mean, you, one of the things you said in the, in the beginning of the book is that you wanted to make the food delicious. And uh, with a primal type diet, everything I eat is pretty much delicious. So I don't think that's a hard thing to come by. I to- I totally agree. And you know uh, what I said a few minutes ago about retraining our neurotransmitters. Right now, uh, we are so used to all the fake food and processed food with its high, um, yeah. you know. Uh, We're coming up on a break, Polly, so uh, stick sure. with us. And uh, folks, uh, the number here is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We'll be back in a moment. Just recently, on December 28th, Market Insight subscribers were advised to go along the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 ETF, on December 28th at 63.91. And only two trading days later, after a huge jump in the markets, Market Insight subscribers were advised to sell the QQQ at 66.64 for a $2.73 or 4.27% profit to start off 2013. At the same time, Tom O'Brien had advised his clients looking for a more leveraged trade that they could have initiated a position in the QLD, the ProShares Ultra QQQ ETF, and over the same two trading days, Market Insights subscribers were able to lock in a $4.48 profit or an 8.47% gain in just one trade. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during your free trial and pay nothing. Don't miss out on the next great trading opportunity in 2013. Act today. 
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. This is Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle, and the number here is 877-927-6648. A reminder to pick up my Health Signals newsletter if you want to stay healthy and need information on how to get fit and just feel good and enter this world of the paleo and primal diet. Uh, you need to pick up our my newsletter. And on the phone, I have Polly Halstead, who has the Primal Cuisine book. And you can get this on Amazon.com. Uh, I've seen it on a lot of other places, and if you just uh, Google uh, Polly Halstead, uh, you'll be getting lots of information about her and the book and about what she's doing. Uh, Polly, the, you know, one of the great things about your book is that, uh, I mean, these illustrations, these pictures make the food look so good. And uh, that's one thing I've found in uh, any recipes that I even make myself. All the food really does taste great. Uh, yeah, uh, all the recipes uh, definitely look good and taste good. So, you know, since I've been in the food business, it, it was always really important to me to kind of go the extra distance and make the food look uh, pretty. I still, I still do that. Everybody always looks at my plate because <laughs> <laughs> it's always arranged so nicely, and they, they say, how do you do that? But yeah. uh, any, anyway, I just wanted people to, to really have fun with their food and really enjoy, enjoy it, really get back into uh, cooking. And none of these recipes are that difficult either, I have to say. No. Uh, actually, I think uh, when you start eating a primal-type diet, you simplify things. Yeah. It, yeah. it is simpler. Yeah. 
It's much, much, much easier. Uh, you know, uh, one of the questions I always get is, you know, uh, oh, you're eliminating so, so many of my favorite foods. What do I eat? And I think we've been so brainwashed into uh, eating the, the American way that we don't realize this is the way people have eaten for thousands of years. Exactly. And, and that's what I really wanted my book to be about. It's like, okay, what do I eat? Well, look at everything you can eat and how gorgeous it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it isn't that hard. So uh, some advice for people who might be thinking about switching the way they're eating and getting healthier. Uh, what, what would you say to a person that is, you know, just doesn't know anything about a paleo diet and where would they begin? Okay. You know, people get hung up on the word paleo. They think paleo means the caveman diet, yeah. big slabs of meat and whatever. I would say the number one thing to begin with is get off processed food yeah. and start choosing just real whole food. Yeah. Uh, if you can do that. It, it, and if, yeah, get off wheat. <laughs> yeah. For starters. Yeah. yeah, if you can just start with that and see what you feel like, see if that makes a difference. A lot of people have said, yeah, when I got off wheat and gluten, I noticed a big difference. Yeah. So start with that. Start with what you can begin with. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, you know, a lot of people these days, and including my wife, has this problem with uh, uh, digesting certain fats. And that's always a problem because uh, I think uh, in our society today, uh, we've eliminated so many of those fats. So the body, in many cases, is not used to processing these fats and your hydrochloric acid isn't working right or your, uh, you know, it, your body's just not producing enough hydrochloric acid. So what kind of things, that, uh, in your experience, uh, can help these people who, uh, you know, do have problems with their uh, uh, digestion? Okay, uh, Nora really addresses that in the hydrochloric acid issue in her book, yeah. and I think she has some suggestions there. Um, I, I forgot one product that she mentioned, but also drinking, uh, say, a glass of water with uh, a, a teaspoon of, um, of, of good apple cider vinegar, vinegar. that might help yeah. too. Yeah. But w I think we, we've been eating... Uh, you know, bad fats, and those are really hard uh, to digest, especially from, like, beef fat from uh, from cattle that have been fed genetically modified grains and stuff. That Their fat is much different than fat from uh, grass-fed um, uh, animals. So uh, I, I think, like... Um, Coconut oil is really uh, easy to digest. Mm -hmm. If you make a ghee from grass-fed butter, that's easy to digest. Apparently, um, those fats just get absorbed right through your stomach wall and are re readily available for energy. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of people really don't uh, understand uh, that our primary fuel uh, traditionally uh, has always been fat and not sugar, and it's only in the last hundred years or so that we uh, really switched over to become sugar burners, which has caused so many of the problems that we have today. Yeah, definitely. People uh, do not understand the ketogenic uh, diet, and, um, and uh, well, it, it takes uh, a while to to uh, switch over to being a fat burner. Some people it takes longer than others, uh, especially if you're older. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is really something. You know, I didn't have a problem with that, but my wife uh, went through about three months of trying to figure out exactly how much fat she can eat because she doesn't process dairy at all in any form, uh, even the ghee. She can't process coconut oil. She can't process, so she has to really use more of olive oil and things like that. So the only saturated fat that she can really tolerate is from animals. Strange. Oh, that's interesting. Now, did, has she had her gallbladder out? My daughter no. had her gallbladder out, so that makes her fat metabolism a lot different. Right, but her gallbladder does not produce as much hydrochloric acid. So she I has used that advice that Nora has, taking extra hydrochloric acid before you eat and while you eat. And uh, for a while she was taking a lot of it, and now she's down to taking very little, but it, it, she still can't tolerate those fats, but it helps her digest the other things much better. Right. Uh, she well, was, uh, 
yeah, it's really important to get, you know, uh, some of the fats because it's my understanding that, uh, that it's the fats that help uh, digest the protein and make it available. Yeah. Um, so at any rate, I'm not a doctor or, no, yeah. or a nutritionist. But I know, yeah, me neither. Everybody has to kind of uh, to feel uh, what is the optimum for them as far as their fat intake. I think I have... You know, uh, I don't count calories. I don't count fat. I just include a variety of fats during the day, too. Yeah. So I make sure I get some of all of them you yeah. know, during the day. Yeah, I do the same thing. And uh, I use, uh, in fact, butter in my coffee and uh, MCT oil in my coffee. And I use, uh, for cooking purposes, most of the time, my breakfast is cooked in coconut oil. And uh, at uh, and all my meats now are sent away for, I don't really have a good local vendor that will s- portion out meat for me. I can buy like a half of a uh, pig or uh, whole chickens, but uh, I uh, found some great vendors in Georgia that, uh, you know, and uh, th- there are so many now all over the United States that uh, – have great, great meats that you can get, and uh, I don't go to the grocery store anymore. It's a wonderful thing, actually. Wow, that's great. We have a lot of good producers here in California, yeah. and people have really gotten on the bandwagon. Uh, I, in my book, though, I do refer people to the American Grass-Fed website if they want to find out producers in their area. Okay, I'll but check that one out, too. if you don't too. have producers in your area, yeah, you can send for things. Yeah, most of the ones in my area just want you to buy in a real huge bulk and cut it up yourself, and I'm just not into that at yeah, this stage. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's great. Uh, so one of the things, of course, that uh, we all have to get over is the big fat lie that you mentioned in your book, and you uh, do uh, also on, on your website you uh, mention that, and I think that's an important thing for people to realize is that we really have been lied to uh, about fats and this low-fat diet has really caused a lot of problems in our country. It's really caused a lot of problems, and I believe it is still causing problems because, you know, the American Medical Association, uh, most of the physicians are still trained in, in the low-fat, um, you know, paradigm. I yeah. mean, I have a lot of friends who their doctors still want to put them on Lipitor. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing that so this whole drug culture that we have, uh, you know, it, 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 starting with the flu shots and uh, getting people to uh, be on drugs as soon as possible. I mean, the children these days are, uh, there's a big on- onslaught of advertising now to get your flu shots earlier. Uh, Tamiflu is now recommended for babies as, as little as two months. I mean, it's, it's really kind of nuts. You know, it's a fear-based society we live in, yeah. and it's driven by uh, money, you yeah. know, and uh, you, just ha- you just have to try to unplug from that and do your own research. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the key right there, because you're not going to convince anybody. That they, everybody has to be convinced on their own little level, so I recommend that everybody do research. And I'll tell you, your book is, uh, is so easy to read. It is, it is a complete uh, primal lifestyle book as far as I'm concerned. Now, how long did it take you to uh, put this together? Uh, well, uh, my first book that I wrote when I was in Oregon, uh, that took about six months to put together. Yeah. And then about a year and a half ago, uh, Nora republished her book yes. uh, through Inner Traditions and Bear Company. So mm-hmm. she introduced me to those people they don't normally do cookbooks, but they decided to take this one on, and I'm so happy that they did. And we uh, started working on it last January, mm-hmm. and it, w- it came out right before Thanksgiving of this year. No, oh, that's fast. I know. I, I've been uh, a little over a year now writing mine, and I keep changing things as I'm learning more. And, uh, and right now it's in editing, but as it's being edited, I'm changing things uh it's it's a difficult process of course i never wrote a book before so that makes it a little bit harder but i'm hoping to finish that soon well i i had never written a book uh before either Mm -hmm. and uh you know it is it's just such a great process and in you know in the whole process of writing my first one and this one i changed a lot so it's kind of an integrative healing process uh, when you're writing. Yeah. And you're always learning new things and incorporating new things. Yeah. 
And our community, uh, talking about the primal type of community, is really growing like a crazy. Wow, it sure is. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I go places and I have my book and people grab it and say, wow, I've heard about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is becoming mainstream. Although on CNN this morning I was listening and there's a guy on there talking about this uh, uh, I forget the name of the book, but he was uh, when he got in depth about what it is, is eating every three hours. And then I thought, oh, my God, here we go. And it was a book on weight loss, and I'm sure he's had some success on people losing weight. But I just wonder about the health of these people. Well, that's kind of interesting you mentioned that. Being hypoglycemic, uh, you know, I had to eat every few hours because yeah. my inner he dropped, uh, but I, I have to say that uh, the more I've gotten into this diet, the more I've healed myself, the more fat I've eaten, uh, that need to, to eat every few hours uh, has gone away. Yeah, sometimes I go six, eight hours and I don't eat. Uh, it's amazing. I'll have breakfast at like uh, 5.30 in the morning and then I'll, uh, I, I'm a personal trainer, so I do my training thing till about uh, 11 o'clock. Then I go to jujitsu for a couple hours. I get home about 3 o'clock and I'm not really that hungry. It's, it just amazes yeah, me. Yeah, and I, I think when that happens, your body is uh, burning off uh, the calories more efficiently, wouldn't you say? I, I, I do believe that, uh, it, and my mood is so much better, uh, less stress, and uh, if I get a little bit hungry, I know I'm going to be eating dinner at about 6.30 or so, I'll have a little piece of fruit or something like that, and this, that s sustains me the rest of the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, uh, anything else you want to add uh, before we close off this segment here uh, about your book? I mean, I, well, I, th I really appreciate your taking the time to interview me on the book. I I hope people try it out, and I really uh, want everyone to be healthy. That's why I wrote the book. So. Yeah. Well, you've really achieved a little masterpiece here, and I really appreciate you coming on the show. And uh, my wife and I go, go up to Napa Valley about every five years, so we're due in a couple of more years, and uh, I'm sure we'll be in touch before that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be an, knocking uh, on your I'm door. I'm two hours away from the Napa Valley now. I still go there a lot, so yeah. if you come out this way, let me know. I will. Thanks so much, Polly. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was really something, folks. Uh, I'm telling you, this book, uh, Primal Cuisine, is something that if you're interested in the primal diet, this is a book I highly recommend. Uh, it, the illustrations are fantastic. And if you're worried about uh, the food not tasting good, you just a couple of glances in some of these uh, pictures, you know right away. And, and, and the great thing about it, she's got it sectioned off into, you know, salad days, uh, uh, you know, uh, eating your vegetables, uh, let's see what else is here, wild-caught seafood, uh, grass-fed meat. So each section is filled with things, pasteurized poultry and what to do with it and how to get fat into your diet. So very important, highly recommended. I thank Polly so much for coming in and uh, talking to, this, uh, to us about it. At the same time, you have something else that you need to do, and that is go to the... Uh, TFNN website and pick up my Health Signals newsletter. It's uh, full of uh, things that uh, really talk about the same thing that Polly does uh, and also giving you tips on what not to do to uh, make you sick. Okay, so pick that up for me. Uh, I got one short segment left, so it's 877-927-6648 and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. 
Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rose, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. It's Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle. The number here is 877-927-6648. I'm just looking through my Health Signals newsletter here. I wanted to mention a couple of things. Uh, first of all, a great article on why you should be stopped, why you should stop eating wheat and other grains. And uh, I'll continue uh, to update you on those things. There's many, many reasons why you, you should not eat any grains in your diet. And one of them is phytic acid, which I've got some great articles coming up in the next newsletters. Also, uh, there's a primal recipe in here for bacon avocado cups uh, with uh, balsamic glaze on it. And I'll tell you, this is so delicious. It's unbelievable. And uh, there's an article on the miracles of raw organic honey and where you can get some great honey. Uh, this the site is uh, called Really Raw Honey, and it's the honey I use. Also, if you can get it locally, that really does help with your allergies because the pollen that's picked up in the local area is in that honey that helps you become resistant to uh, some of those strains uh, that are going around. And, of course, we got, we're got. we in the middle of flu season, too. And a great article on uh, salt, uh, and uh, it really talks about why salt does not raise your blood pressure, as we're told, especially if you're getting great salts like the Himalayan types of salts that we use in a primal diet. So very important to pick this up and help support the show. Uh, and uh, you'll get lots of information. And, of course, if you have any requests, uh, you can uh, get... Uh, uh, 
you know, you can pick up the uh, Health Signals newsletter, and uh, I'll include those articles uh, at your request. Uh, the book, uh, Primal Cuisine, is available on Amazon, and one of our uh, taggers just uh, posted on here, available for $13. I think it retails for like $20, so you can get it on, um, on Amazon for 13 bucks. Highly recommend you pick up this book. Uh, not only does it give a nice short rendition of why you should be uh, eating a more primal-style diet, for your health, for sustainability as far as, uh, you know, uh, our planet is concerned, but also uh, it's just a great way to live, folks, because you're not going to be a slave to the food anymore. You're going to be enjoying the food a lot more. You're going to be much more satisfied with uh, what uh, you're eating. Uh, the the food I've, I found is as you get more into uh, eating primal and getting to get great sources of food and that's what I'm always looking for. I'm always looking to uh, find out where the best food is and sometimes it's a little bit more expensive but I have found through experience of the last uh, four years eating this way is that I'm eating less so the food bill hasn't actually gone up and that's the beautiful thing about it. It is not more expensive. Initially you're gonna you're gonna feel like it is but I guarantee you that if you get into it and you get some good sources especially for your meat that you're going to pay a little bit more, you're going to eat a lot less, you're going to be much more satisfied, and you're not going to be buying all that junk food that we used to buy. No more potato chips and no more corn chips and no more bread, uh, no more pasta. Uh, and if you want to reintroduce after a while some of these things again, then you can get the best parts of them. If you want to eat bread, you go to more of a sourdough type of bread especially if you live in San Francisco area, uh, you can pick up some of that great uh, sourdough bread because most of that phytic acid that's in there uh, has is gone because of the processing of the stuff. You've got to realize that the way we process food today really causes more problems than if you're eating fresh food. So that's pretty much it for the show today. Please pick up my Health Signals newsletter. Paige will be back next week, and we're gonna have we got another great show lined up. We got some more great guests coming up in the next few weeks, and uh, I'm training for the uh, Pan American Games again, so I'm in the midst of doing that. And uh, uh, by the way, I just want to let you know that uh, they, they have a uh, international Brazilian Jiu Jitsu ranking out now, and uh, I'm number one brown belt in the world in my division. So uh, who would have thought that uh, that would ever happen? But uh, it's a nice uh, designation for me. So folks. See you next week. Thanks a lot for sticking around and uh, live a primal lifestyle, will you? Talk to you later. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to mastering probability today, because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.